Shalom, everyone. Welcome back to another predestined, predestined kingdom ministry or ministries international videos. This is for like a group of pastors or a set of people in church. You guys keep pushing people into a situation that God didn't make a way out for them. And then you keep making the people pay for it. Okay, so that's what the Lord wanted you to see. A lot of this stuff you blaming people for, and it's you and your husbands, the apostle and prophet is fought because you guys are pushing something that God didn't approve of yet. It could be anything. It could be a healing of some sort for an addiction. It could be anything. And so when you push somebody into a corner and then you say, well, you make it out, that's not God. That's what he's saying. Move in love. If it can't be done in love, it's just not time yet. And then that's when he kept saying, be patient because you was making you were or you are abusing people in your flesh and you think you're making them pay for something. But in all naturality, it's just abuse and it's not working. And so you keep doing the same thing every year to different people. If it's no opening, if you can't push somebody into an open door, don't push them at all. Don't force a thing. If it's no, if, if God has given you a specific route to go and you tell God no, you can't force another way and then blame the person for not being healed. That's the revelation I got from Jesus Christ. You did it wrong. It just, it wasn't time or it wasn't an opening or something was, wasn't um, obeyed by God. Okay. But you don't blame the person. There's always another way out without abuse, without um, mental torture, harass, all the stuff that you normally do, make people cough. And yeah, everybody, this word is for who it's for. You can't push somebody into an opening that has no opening, okay? You can't push them into a healing that's not there and then say by any means possible because that's where the abuse come in at because you don't see God doing something else. Wait on the Lord. And then also let that person go. That person keep asking you to let them go, go in peace let it go. God keeps saying, let something go. Let a situation go. Let a person go. Let them go. Let me go. Let them go. Let it go. Drop, drop the relationship thing. Let it go, says the Lord. 